Hello everybody. Welcome back to Red Shirt Video. My name's Keith. Back here on the property again. Uh, this time for quite a few days. Uh, I have a project that I'm working on over here on the barn. It's putting up quite a fight, but I'm going to get it done. I need to get this done first because I have another project behind that that I'm going to bring to the channel. But i got to get this done first. So sit back and enjoy, and uh, thanks for being here. Getting some burning done. It's a little windy, but i got a water hose out, and I'm watching it. So we'll just keep an eye on it. Probably going to be mowing later today or tomorrow for sure. So I want to focus on this overhang. So this overhang is about 18 feet from end to end. That's uh, good enough for what I'm thinking about, although I may go ahead and extend it a little further. I'm not sure. These rafters are uh, eight foot long. The overhang is about uh, nine and a half, maybe 10 foot long. I really need to extend that out another couple of feet. That's what I'm looking to do. I wanted to show how they built this, how they have it connected. There's one rafter coming out of the barn, out of the wall. And then they, they tacked on a, uh, a two by four. It's like a header or a rim joist or something. And then they have rafter ties going to that two by four. Now this isn't a very heavy structure and they didn't deck it solid. They put some uh, five quarter inch deck board down. Uh, I, <laughs> I really need to rip this down and rebuild it. Okay, but what I wanted to show you was, so there's one two by four coming out of the wall that supports that two by four. And you go down what looks to be about 10 feet, maybe eight. And there's another joist, I'm sorry, rafter coming out of the wall. <laughs> And they have the two two by fours toe nailed into that. So you have whatever that is, an eight or ten foot span with a two by four supporting this roof. <laughs> At least that end of it. And then you go another maybe ten foot. Oh, and there's another rafter sticking out supporting that same two by four <laughs> ah this needs to be rebuilt but i don't have the time <clears throat> i really don't and and probably not the money that i want to spend right now so i'm gonna beef that up um yeah i think it'll be okay once i finished uh, I need to move these posts out to the right, out that way, a foot or two. I need more. Now this post is nothing. It's just I'm gonna I'm gonna move it probably, but I need more room in between the wall of this barn and that post so I can get something underneath here. So I'm gonna push those posts out. In doing so, I have to lengthen those rafters. So I may have a little hillbilly ingenuity going on here. <clears throat> Trying to make the best of a bad situation without totally rebuilding this whole thing. So I made this block that I'm going to try to put up in between the wall and the 2 by 4 And then I'm going to try to secure everything with screws. Just trying to brace it, make it a little more secure on this side 
then I'm going to extend the rafters out and then hopefully move the poles. So I built these uh, plates and then I shoved them up in there. I screwed those into, there's a two by six running on the inside of that wall. So I screwed these into that with some uh, three inch long screws. And then I screwed that two by four into that plate. And I did three of those and uh, uh, they came out right here I ended up screwing a scabbing on a little butt end screwing it to that rafter end gave me a little more meat to screw that 2x4 into the the uh, <sighs> rafter that's coming out there's another one I did right here I was going to do the same thing but the distance was getting farther apart so I just made a little 2x4 rafter tail and screwed it in from the back and then screwed that into the 2x6 little wall and and then over here I couldn't get a 2x6 up in there straight so I just ended up putting a 2x4 but the point is each of those now has roughly about four more screws holding it so it's not going anywhere. So I've got a center line drawn on these, one foot, one foot. That's gonna be how much I'm gonna overlap the old rafter and the new rafter. Put that on there. Try to get it as, try to get it as straight as I can. So I guess I'm at another stopping point. I'm kind of disappointed. I didn't get finished. I need at least one more day. I'm just having trouble working 
long hours and in the afternoon it gets up to 90 or higher and I, I just can't go very long. So um, on this trip, I got the uh, front edge blocked and secured. I got the, uh, ba the back edge, I added uh, two feet onto it and put some more uh, decking up there. And then I got it jacked up to where those rafters are lifting off of the beam. And I got all these temporary poles in. Uh, it's a little bit janky, but it is what it is. Uh, if something were to happen in the wind were to blow it, it would just drop back down on that beam. So the next time I come, I'm going to move these poles out about two feet. I'm going to reattach that beam, and then I'm going to lower it down. Um, and then I need to uh, cut some extra cutoff pieces of metal and finish roofing. Yeah, so I was up here last night and I uh, got a few things done. One of the main things I did was I drug out some uh, old pieces of roofing. I'm told that this is actually antique stuff, but this is what was on the barn when I, uh, when I bought the property. And I had some a few good pieces left, mostly good. So I cut them up so that I can... Uh, Put them up top up there re-roof so that took about an hour to get all that pulled out and get it cut up and anyway so the other thing um i'm going to start off by moving these two posts and uh i noticed that this uh was loose already so i thought well is it in the ground did they bury it in the ground or is it just sitting on the ground and so i was trying to find out and i got my shovel out and I started digging and uh, let me get over here so I started digging and what I found out was watch when I move this post yeah it's broken off at ground level so I thought about it and uh, I have a number of those uh, four by six posts and I, they're tall enough I could use those and if I have to, I will. But I kind of like the uh, rustic nature of the cedar. And so uh, I'm going to plant this on uh, at ground level and uh, see if I can make it work. So I was trying to figure out how to anchor that pole to the rafter, help keep it from slipping. And uh, I've got a box here of ties and different things that I've collected. And I have a whole bunch of these. I believe these are a type of uh, hurricane strap. Anyway, I'm gonna take one of these and set it on top of the pole. And then I'm gonna screw it into the the rafter right there.
I tried to spare you the misery, but I really, really struggled trying to get this 18 foot long board up in place. It was just barely all I could reach to get it up there. All right, so I got it put back together. Everything's finished. That far left side, I'm probably gonna add about a foot and a half to it. And so there's a <clears throat> small piece of decking on the very corner that I didn't put in yet because I'm gonna add another section to it. So fortunately, I was able to reuse most everything uh, the only thing I had to buy for this project was probably about $20 worth of screws. Everything else I had, um, the uh, blocks that I used as footers, the uh, I cut 18 two-foot two-by-six pieces. And you can see it's getting kind of dark. You can see right there, so two foot was extending the overhang, and then the other two foot was to uh, scab on. <clears throat> I got it screwed to the post with three inch screws. Also got a hurricane tie, and I got one on the very top that holds the post in place to that two by six. I reused the uh, two by six beam that they had. Uh, you know, that'd be better if it had another piece on there and maybe someday I'll add one, but uh, it was sagging in the middle. So I flipped it over and uh, reversed the crown. But everything's looking good. It's, it's, in person, it looks quite a bit wider, and uh, I think I'll be able to maybe get under here what I need to get under here. So, yeah, it's looking good.